All right, good afternoon. So right now we are going to go through the rest of the trig review. So this is section four of our trig. We just did section one, two, and three, looking at how to find angles and side lengths of right angle triangles. So now we're going to section four, which is uh, pretty similar. Um, we want to find angle G and angle H to the nearest degree. So angle G, we want to find this one. And we want to find that one. Okay, just like before in section two, we just look at them one at a time. Angle G, we're just looking at this one, just this one. So let's label the triangle in relation to just that one. Okay, so this is H straight across. That one's O straight across from uh, the one you're trying to find. And then A is right beside. Okay, so we know six and 14, so let's use A and H. Which one is A and H? Well, that one's cos. Cos theta is A over H is our formula that we use for that. Your theta is g here. Cos g is a over h. This time we can put numbers in for a and h. So cos g a is 6 and h is 14 in this case. Okay. Cos g is 6 over 14. So our unknown is g. So let's get it by itself. What's the opposite of cos? opposite of cos is that inverse button or when you're trying to find an angle you're gonna hit that cos that inverse button so let's hit second inverse of 6 over 14 there we go and we get uh, G is equal to 64.6 degrees so this is 64.6 degrees okay before in section 2 we would then isolate H and relabel these and do it again okay but this time, we're going to be a little wiser, and we're not going to redo it. Okay, We're going to use a little cheat. So like I said in the first part, it's a special fact with all these is this plus this plus this, which is 90 degrees, always 90 degrees, always equal 180 degrees in every single triangle. Okay, So if those three angles are always 180 degrees, then what must our angle H be? Okay, so overall, let's make a little equation for that. H plus 64.6 plus 90 has to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so I made a little equation for that. There we go. Uh, so now let's solve for H. That means we have to get rid of this and this. Okay, so let's minus 90 from both sides and now we have H plus 64.6 is equal to 180 minus 90 is 90 and that went away okay now we got to get rid of the 64.6 so let's subtract that onto both sides and that gets rid of that and now we have H is equal to uh, 90 minus 64.6 which is 25.4 degrees so without doing trig for that second part, I could have just subtract and got 25.4. There we go. So that triangle is done. We found angle G and angle H. Let's go on to question two. A water bomber is at an altitude, which means a height of 5,000 feet. It is 8,000 feet from its target site. What's its angle of elevation? Angle of elevation, elevation means from where you are, horizontally and upward. Okay, so you have a water bomber, you have an airplane. Here's my good airplane. I have its windows. So it's going, it's 5,000 feet of altitude. That means a height. So I'm going to go 5,000. And it's saying it's 8,000 feet from its target site. So that's a little ambiguous. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if it means from here to the target site or from right uh, the airplane from its target site okay but I'm gonna assume it's directly 8,000 feet from its tar target site so I'm gonna say that's the target Let's say target so that's 8,000 feet from its target okay what's its angle of elevation okay and so that's from this angle here okay so there's my picture 
So I'm going to simplify it just to a normal triangle. Got your right angle, and you got your angle there. And then we have that triangle there. We know that's 8,000. And we know this is 5,000. Okay, so you have those two there. So now we can uh, find our angle. Uh, so let's label our triangle. This is going to be an H. This one's O. This one's A. Okay, so we have one for O. We have one for H. So we know we're going to have to use sine theta is O over H. Okay, our theta we don't know, so we leave. Sine theta. Our O we do know, 5,000. And our H we do know, 8,000. Okay, so let's solve for our theta. The opposite of sine is going to be sine inverse. So our theta is equal to sine inverse at 5,000 over 8,000. Okay, so sine theta at 5,000 over 8,000 is 38.7 degrees is that angle of elevation or that angle right there. Okay, that one's all done. Let's move on to section 5. What is the distance of transit to survey pole? So that means transit here and we got a survey pole up here. So really it's just a triangle question saying what's the distance from here to here okay and it gives you an angle here and a side length there okay so we have an angle here we know that this is H because it's straight across from your right angle and then this is opposite over here and adjacent here okay we want to know H because we want to know from transit to survey pool we have this one so that means we're going to use A and H a and H is cos, so that's our base formula there. Instead of theta, we can put 67.3, and A is 20.86, and H we don't know. That's the one we're solving for. Okay, so here let's solve for H. So I'm going to multiply it because it's being divided over the other side. So now we're going to have H cos. 67.3 is 20.86. Now we got to get rid of this whole part and leave h by itself. So let's divide by cos 67.3. So we get 20.86 divided by cos 67.3. And we then get, let's type that in, 20.86 divided by cos 67.3. And we get 54 meters. So this has to be 54 meters if that's 67.3 and that's 20.86. Nice. All right, so I'm going to switch my pen out. Calculate DE length for this triangle is our last question for section 5. DE. So that means from D to E. It means what's this length of that line? Okay. Um, I'm going to switch to a blue pen this time. So we have 55 degrees. Um, let's label our triangle. We want DE, so we want to know this spot. Okay. So that means let's label H straight across is O, and that one's an A. Okay. All from this angle here, 55. So now we can have we we want H. And we know O, so we know it's going to be a sine theta is O over H because we have O and we want H. So now let's fill in everything we know. Sine theta is 55. O is 6.8. And H, we don't know. Okay, just like last question, we've got to solve for H. The quick way of doing it is if you know your variables on the bottom, you can just switch those two. Okay, so let's do it that quick way. H is 6.8 over sine 55 and therefore we just type into our calculator 6.8 divided by sine 55 and we get 8.3 centimeters okay that's how long this line is there 8.3 centimeters all right section 5 is done
Our last two sections I'm just doing together and uh, three questions and it's applying um, all that stuff into a, into a question. Okay, so here's one. It's just a solve triangle x, y, z. Solve this whole triangle. It means find every value of every side length, all three side lengths, and all three angles. We already have two side lengths and we already have one angle. That one's 90 degrees. That's 10, that's 6 centimeters. Okay. Uh, so let's try to solve this. Okay. There's many different ways you can do it. You can use Pythagoras to solve this one here if you wanted. But let's use trig. Let's try to find an angle. Which angle do we find? This one or this one first? It actually does not matter. Okay. So just choose one. Let's choose this. Let's choose x. Okay. Now let's label our triangle using this one here. Okay. Because we chose that one. So x. Um, we know that's O opposite. We know this one's A, and we know that one's H. There we go. So now we have O, A, and H. H we don't have, and we're not even trying to find. We're trying to find this angle, okay? Because we don't even know this angle. So let's use O and A. O and A is 10. Theta is O over A. Uh, and this time we don't know what theta is. We can just write X. 10X is O over A. O is 10. A is 6, okay? Now let's solve for our angle, which is the opposite of 10. So let's use that inverse button. X is 10 inverse of 10 over 6. Type that into your calculator and you get 10 inverse of 10 divided by 6. 59. So we get 59 and we know it's degrees because we're looking for X. So that's 59. Okay. Once you have that, we have one, two. Let's do the quick way to find angle z. Okay. So let's use our little little quick equation. We know that one, two, three have to equal 180 degrees. So they have to be 180 degrees. 59 plus 90 plus whatever z is going to be. Okay. So now we have to solve for z by minusing by 90, minusing by 59. So overall z is 180 minus 90, minus 59, 31 degrees. So we have 31 degrees there. Look at that, we found all the angles so far. Now we just need one more side length and then we have solved the triangle. Okay, so let's try to find this side length here. Again, you could use Pythagoras, um, or you could use this angle, or you could use this angle. Okay, so there's lots of different ways. I'm actually going to do Pythagoras just to show, so I can show somewhere in this video how to use Pythagoras, okay? Pythagoras is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, okay? And c is always the same as h. That's how you remember it. c is always the same as your hypotenuse, always the one that's across from that square, okay? No matter what, okay? So a and b doesn't matter which one it is otherwise. You have to remember that C is always H, though. Okay? A can be 6 or 10. So let's say 6 squared plus 10 squared. Okay? We made that our A, that our B. Doesn't really matter. But this one always has to be C. C is H. We don't know what H is, so I'm going to write H squared. Okay? So there we go. We have 6 squared plus 10 squared equals H squared. Okay, 6 squared is 36, 10 squared is 100, and we have h squared there. Okay, so now we have 136 is h squared. I'm going to draw a little arrow there, which means implies. And we have h is the opposite of squared, is square root, so square root that, and we get 136. Square root of 136. Okay, and I could take my calculator and go square root 136. I can get 11.6. Seven roughly centimeters. So that is the side length here, 11.7. Okay. So now we finally solved it. Really, when they say solve, it just means do three questions in one. Find one angle, find another angle, and then find a side length. Okay, just means do three questions in one. That's all it means. All right, what is the height of a taller building? Let's see this. This is a classic one you see everywhere. You have two buildings. You have this 
skyscraper and this smaller skyscraper and then you have this angle of elevation which means from the horizontal and upward means angle of elevation uh, and then you have angle of depression which means from the horizontal and downward is 15 degrees okay and the height of the smaller building we know is 20 meters okay so it's saying what is the height of the taller building which means what's this what's that there okay so how am I going to do this problem when I take a look at it is I see two right triangles right here one two okay one here and one there and so I know that if I find this and that of the two triangles those two side lengths I can just add them up and they'll be the same as that okay and then so I ask myself how do I am I gonna find that well I'm gonna have to use trig so that means I'm gonna have to use that angle with some other length okay but wait a second there's no other information we don't know what the dotted line is we don't know what this is so how do we find it uh, well I look and I see that we had denoted that there's a 20 meters there okay so that 20 meters can be shifted as actually this length here right there it's 20 as well okay so we know what this one is we actually didn't have to do any trig for it we could just slide this over and it was the same there so now our goal is just to find out what that is and then we know we have the answer okay um, but I know I need at least this hypotenuse or this dotted line to find out what that is I don't have either of those okay so I can't do anything with that big triangle so let's use this triangle to find a piece of information okay so we know this is 20 let's draw a little separate triangle of that 20 and that's 15 okay that's 15 that's this triangle right there okay let's find out what the dotted line is let's find out what this was the dotted line okay so we have let's label the triangle a square there get an H an O and an A so let's find out what A is okay we know what O is we want A so let's do 10 10 theta is O over A so 10 15 is 20 over A and then if we're doing the A we can do that old switch thing A switch with the 10 15 and we get A is 20 over 10 15 and we can use our calculator 20 divided by 10 15 should be 74.6 So our A, or this side length, or the dotted line here, is 74.6 meters. Okay, so let's fill that in, 74.6 meters. Okay, we found that dotted line now. So now with this bigger triangle, we have one of the pieces of information and we can solve it now. Okay, let's draw that bigger one. We know that 74.6 now. And then we have a 30 degree in there, 30 degree. So let's solve for this one here, okay? Let's label the triangle, we have an H, and I got an A there, and we got an O over there, okay? So we know A, we want O. So again, that's gonna be a tan question, tan theta is O over A. So in this question, tan, our angle is 30, our opposite is, well, we don't know, and our adjacent is 74.6. Okay, so overall, if we want to get O by itself, we have to times by 74.6. So it's 74.6 times 1030 is equal to O. So overall, our O is equal to 74.6 times 1030, and we get 43 meters. Okay. So let's finish this off. We have this one is 43. Okay, so if that one is, that O is 43, that means that's 43. 43 plus 20 will give us our whole height. Okay, so overall x is 43 plus 20 
which equals 63 meters. So another question where it said do, this one was not doing three things, but doing two separate questions in one. All right. Last question. Last applying question for trigonometry. Find the angle HKJ to the nearest tenth. A lot of people have a problem kind of knowing what that means. HKJ, okay, it means that if you if you have your pen on H and then you draw it to K and then you draw it to J, you're trying to find the ang the middle one, the middle angle, the K one. Okay. So here we have H and then we draw to K and then we draw to J that means they're trying to find the middle angle the K one from here to here okay that's what that means just to there not continue just to there all right so we need to find that angle we don't know if that's right or not so we can't assume that so usually with these questions I try to find out what I'm going to find. We know we need this. Okay. Um, so how am I going to do that? Hmm. I know I can't use the smaller triangle because it's not a right triangle. Okay. So we got to forget about that. It's not right, so we can't use it. We can use this bigger one, this big triangle, because that whole triangle is a right triangle. Okay. So overall, I know I'll be able to find this angle from here to here, the whole angle. And then if you look at this one, this one here, here to here, that small one, that's a right triangle as well. Okay, so we have two right triangles. This one's not, but this one is, and the big one is. Okay, so we can use both of those in our advantage. All right, so the technique here is to find out what the whole angle is there. And then we're going to use the small triangle and find just the itty bitty from here to here. And we're going to take the big one and minus that one, and we'll be left over with this one here. Okay, so it's quite complicated. Another way to do it is just find out anything you can. If you're not sure where to go, just find out any information you can find. Okay, so here I'm going to work with the small triangle. Okay, the small one, I'm going to draw it separately. So we have a 10, we have a 3, and then we're going to try to find that small angle. Okay, So this is just this one, boom, boom, boom. So it's going to be O, A, and H. So we know that that's not a 30, that's an O, but we know that it's going to be 10 theta is O over A. Okay, We don't know what theta is. So it's going to be 10 theta is O, which is 3, and our A is 10. Let's solve for theta, so we're going to do the opposite, and it's going to be 10 inverse of 3 over 10, and then that means our theta is 10 inverse of 3 over 10, 16.7 degrees. Okay, so this angle here, just there to there, is 16.7 degrees. Okay, but we want to find from here to here. So how to do that is we need to now find the whole angle. Okay, by using the big triangle. So I'm going to draw that big triangle with the square. We know that's ten. We know the side lengths. Three plus five is eight. Okay, so let's try to find this angle now. Okay, this angle is that part's O, that part's A, just like the last question. We need to find theta, so let's use tan theta is O over A. Okay, so tan theta, O is 8, A is 10. That means our theta is tan inverse of 8 over 10. That means our theta is going to be tan inverse 8 divided by 10, 30 nine degrees roughly, or if we want it to be more precise, 38.66 degrees. Okay, so now uh, we have this giant one, 
which is 38.66 degrees. And we can minus this one, 16.7 degrees, or from here to here. So we're minusing that away, and we'll be left over just with there to there. Okay. So overall, our angle H, K, J is going to be 38.66 minus our 16.7. And that's going to be... Twenty one point nine six degrees. That is a tough question. Thanks.